All right, we are at the BlackBerry booth. This is a BlackBerry Playbook, same model as last year, but this is now running the BlackBerry, BlackBerry 2.0 system. So let's focus a bit, if we could, on uh, what's different. Maybe the email, for example? Absolutely. So let's take a look at email first. See your messaging. You can see a unified inbox, including your personal accounts, your work accounts, potentially, and uh, your Twitter feeds, your LinkedIn feeds, other social aspects that are set into the inbox. The best thing that I personally like is the more social aspects of what we're looking at now, especially involved in the contacts. Mm -hmm. See, this is the new calendar view here. So, everything over here on the left, we are. You're right, we've got the day view, the agenda view, and then my favorite, the people view. Nice. So the people view, you can see immediately, is seeing their faces, seeing a little more of that social aspect of those persons. Instead of me going back and forth from my contacts to my calendar to schedule appointments, I've got them all right here, so I can filter through and work through and do all my scheduling and all my all my contacts right over here on the side. Uh, you can still see that over here. Sure. If, you're, if, you're LinkedIn, if they're linked to LinkedIn or Twitter, you can see that right out here as well. You've integrated LinkedIn and Twitter, so it gives you a little more feel of that person and uh, more of what they have. Can so, you see their calendars if you're on the same? If you're on the same work server throughout, yeah, look, and they've shared their calendar with you, then you've got that view, uh, view their, uh, their availability. So again, in the contacts, and we're going to see a little bit more of it in the contacts capability here, but full overall here and involved in that social aspect. Everything with Playbook 2.0 is getting more friendly, more social, mm -hmm. uh, you know, more consumer-based here, obviously. And you still got your business applications just with a friendlier feel now. Right. On the email side, is it uh, IMAP support? IMAP support on the email? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looking at the games, this is a huge wow factor for almost everybody by this week. Uh, you see some of the titles that people are really, really looking for. Uh, one essentially immediately, Angry Birds, oh, yeah. Cut the Rope, uh, Full Break Lights, a great social game. I can play pool with somebody else uh, immediately when I open the app. I've uh, got plenty of different people that are linked in. Monopoly, another uh, amazing one that we're focusing on a lot. Great thing about this classic game that we all love, that we all played as a family. You can actually play it on the playbook itself, mm -hmm. passing the playbook around the table rather than pulling out all those little houses and hotels and losing them and uh, throwing money everywhere. Another social aspect game that you can play around, though. These apps are currently ported over from Android, so uh, just directly ported uh, from the Android marketplace. We're adding more constantly. Tons of apps available, and again, this is the more friendly side of BlackBerry now, the more friendly side of the tablet. There's a few other titles here that some people will recognize. Uh, definitely Dead Space is a big app, Mad 12. Uh, great functionality here, working with some of the developers to uh, optimize for playbook through the porting process. It's good to see... Um a big name like EA yeah. and then jumping over there. So yeah, Madden, Dead Space, uh, Need right. for Speed. We've had a lot of interaction with EA so far, and uh, you know, great stuff uh, going forward. Very nice. Anything else in 2.0 that's new? Um, I guess the uh, the Messenger client isn't updated just yet, right? So well, BBM specifically will not be available native just yet. So right. BBM, you're still going to have to bridge if you want to do your BBM capabilities. One of the great things that I like about this personally, I travel a lot, I'm in a lot of hotel rooms. I can connect this through an HDMI table, pull out my BlackBerry, and I can control this playbook through my BlackBerry. So if I want to watch movies, anything through here, if I want to watch any of my clips, if I want to just surf the web, I can lay in my hotel bed, lay across the room, anywhere I want, control it through my my device itself, the playbook takes it over. So the phone is a, is a remote via what, Bluetooth? Exactly. Bluetooth yes, Bluetooth control through Bluetooth. Yeah. So that's through the bridge connection, the same right. thing. Another thing I can do is, it's called open on, so if I'm working on my device and I decide I want to show you guys something, mm -hmm. I can actually push something on here to open it on here. So opening a Word document, opening a PowerPoint, this gives me a great capability to connect this to a projector or an LCD TV and give a presentation. I've got a next slide capability, I've got speaker notes, everything else, so this allows me to leave my laptop at home a little bit more through business and, uh, and regular functionality for me. Can you uh, push a website from the phone? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, because okay. I, I, I use the from the phone on Android quite a yep. bit. It's very handy. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. For sure. Very nice. And this uh, February, it's a February release? It is, yeah. So okay. next month. A couple weeks, we will see BlackBerry 2.0. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.